There are several processes when applying spray foam over a metal deck. This particular project is a two-story new construction building consisting of metal walls, metal web joists, and a metal fluted deck. It is a UL790 Class A application over Robinson decking, sometimes referred to as a metal B deck. A 4-inch tape is applied over the 3-inch flute to create a completely flat surface for the liquid applied spray foam to adhere to. Once the tape is applied, the flutes will not transpose through the spray foam, keeping the surface flat. As seen here, the spray foam is applied, which inherently becomes the insulation. Full R-value at 6.2 per inch will supersede all rigid board stock R-values. Spray foam goes down as a two-component liquid, expands 30 to 40 times its thickness, and sets and cures in approximately 60 to 90 seconds. Spray foam is self-sealing. When applied to this cant area, the spray foam will provide a smooth roof-to-wall transition, eliminating the counter flashing. The spray foam at the roof-to-wall transition in some areas will be an additional four to six inches thicker, providing additional R value at the perimeter of the building. This stops the air infiltration associated with most standard board stock and single-ply specs. Spray foam is self-flashing in liquid applied, eliminating all of the sheet metal fasteners and seams associated with all mechanical curbs and roof penetrations. Most roofs leak at the penetrations and using spray foam eliminates all of this leak potential. Custom crickets were also designed and spray applied, eliminating the need for tapered, rigid board stock. The energy efficient top coat and granules are applied at a later time. The finished product is a complete quick shield spray foam roofing system, which will provide low maintenance costs, long service life, reduction in energy bills, and is the only roofing system that pays for itself. Contact us for more information on quick shield roofing systems.